So I'd like to invite up on the stage, here from Industrial Light and Magic, is Academy Award winning visual effects artist and chief creative officer, John Knoll. John? Thank you, John. At Lucasfilm's ILMX lab, story, concept design, and technical development are all intertwined. They come together for us to create immersive experiences for people to enjoy at home, in cinemas, and at theme parks. Now, I've always done my art and development on a Mac, so I'm really excited about these new iMacs. I truly love the platform, so I'm especially, uh, especially excited to be able to share some of our VR content created on these new iMacs in Epic's Unreal Engine. I'm joined by Lauren Ridge, an Epic programmer, who will be backstage driving our demo. Uh, we, working together, we can work in real time <laughs> uh, to create an immersive experience as we step inside the Star Wars universe. Now, Lauren's backstage so we can show you the environment around her. And now, we're going to show you from my perspective. Here we are on the planet Mustafar. Thanks to the native VR support in macOS High Sierra, I can use Unreal Engine's editor to create content inside the VR experience. And for the first time, it's all powered by my Mac. On my left motion controller, I have my radial menu, which acts as my artist palette. And on the right, I have the laser I use to interact with the world. I have some fire here, so let's try that out. <laughs> All right, very nice. Uh, let's do some set dressing. What do you have? Let's see. Let me open my content browser. It has all the assets I need to dress my scene. I think I saw a good landing spot for an Imperial shuttle over here, so let's bring one of those in. We've actually set up these smart assets so they know exactly where to come in for their landing. Great. All right. Uh, can we go wide? Sure, I can grab onto a little two hands and scale myself up. I can also use this to rotate the world around me. Oh, very cool. I have a TIE fighter here too, so let's bring one of those in. Thanks to the more than five and a half teraflops of GPU performance, manipulating objects is super smooth and really intuitive. <laughs> Great, all right, can we have a squadron of those flying overhead? Okay, what about from over there on the horizon to over there by the castle? Great, perfect, okay. All right, let me teleport back down. Oh, hey, seeing the castle back there reminds me we're missing one important element. Right, how could I forget? All right, nice. Boy, it looks really good silhouetted against the sky back there. Can we go in closer? Sure thing. It's really cool how Metal 2 unlocks Unreal's advanced rendering feature set on the map. Wow, yeah, really nice. All right, uh, let's play this scene from here. Okay. Oh, he's upset. That's the third one this week. He didn't see me there. Mm. Wouldn't be so sure about that. All right, actually, let's stop it right there. That was a close one. Uh, uh. Well, it's, it's really nice to see an iMac rendering this level of graphics in VR mode at a smooth 90 frames a second. Really great. All right, thank you, Lauren. <laughs> Metal 2 and Unreal's, uh, our Epic's Unreal Engine will enable the next generation of storytellers. We use this technology in our filmmaking every day for virtual set scouting, for art direction, and shot design. And that means that this immersive content can be made by the same people that bring you the films. That's incredibly powerful. At Lucasfilm and ILMX Lab, we're looking forward to using our Macs to create new experiences as we invite people everywhere to step inside our stories. Thank you. Right, thank you. Thank you, John and Lauren. That was awesome. <laughs>